Hello there and good morning. Boris Johnson, be on the right side of history and give in to the demands of the brave Gurkhas and their supporters. Action this day. As per usual, please like, subscribe and comment below. And when subscribing, please press the little bell, but also select the All option, or you won't get any notifications. So what is it with UK governments? Putting takers above givers? Putting greed above volunteering? Putting perpetrators above victims? And now giving hotels, money and food to some, but the Gurkhas who give us so much have to go on hunger strike outside number 10 for a fair pension. The Gurkhas, whose ferocity in battle is only matched by their humbleness in peace. That there has to be a Twitter account called Gurkha Equal Rights shames the nation. Here's one of their tweets. The Victoria Cross is the highest decoration for valour in the British Armed Forces. 13 of them have been earned by Gurkhas. Before Gurkhas were allowed to receive them, their bravery was already legendary. We will be doing a series on VCs and other honours soon. Now, since its inception in 1856, only 1,358 VCs have been awarded. It's a very exclusive club. And this hunger strike is because those Gurkhas who retired prior to the 1st of July 1997 don't get a full UK military pension. How that was allowed to come about is scandalous of itself. But for it to have endured for just about a quarter of a century beggars belief. In a nation demanding equality for all, that these people and their families are overlooked. No, they still only get a third to a half of what the rest of the military do. One of the hunger strikers, Dan Gurung, told Sky News, Our ancestors gave their lives in order to save Great Britain, and now we are fighting for equal rights. Hunger until the death. And when a Gurkha speaks, one should listen. So do that, Boris. Listen, and then act. Because the longer you leave this, the worse it will make you look, whatever you do. Walk out that number 10 door today. March up to those Gurkhas, shake their hands, thank them for their service and make the cast iron promise that this will be dealt with as soon as Parliament returns on the 6th of September. It's not hard to do and definitely not expensive in the grand scheme of things. And you know it's the right thing to do. Then you can do the right thing by those cast aside Afghan translators, can't you? Or do all those that fight by our side in our time of need require their own special verse in that famous Rudyard Kipling poem, Tommy? While it's Gurkha this and Gurkha that and Gurkha fall behind, but it's pleased to walk in front, sir, when there's trouble in the wind. So what's your opinion on a fair pension for the brave Gurkhas? Please like and comment below.